family. You just started. Good afternoon, Razorback family. You might have gotten my first take at the end of it there. Um, we are having one of our very first Facebook Live sessions to introduce you to some things that you're going to experience as a first year student when you come to the University of Arkansas. Um, to start off, I am Megan Witherspoon Evans. I'm an assistant director in the housing department and I work with our north side buildings, but I also work with our leadership development programs. And I'm Hannah Barney. I'm the coordinator for student leadership. So Megan is my boss. Um, so I work with Lead Hogs, RIC, and NRHH, which we will tell you more about in a little bit. Great. Well, the first thing we're going to start with is talking to you about a thing called Hog Sync. You've probably heard us mention that a few times. We talked about it in our orientation session. And then you also may have heard other departments talk about it throughout your orientation experience. HogSync is a platform that we use across campus to connect students to what they're doing outside the classroom, as well as some experiences inside the classroom. So a variety of departments around student affairs uh, and some of our academic partners like the Honors College work through HogSync to communicate to their students. Um, we also, that is how registered student organizations will get in touch with you and things like student government and other leadership programs. Um, so we want to provide this tool to you. It's something that we have to create a personalized experience for you to connect. Um, and you just get to go and create your little profile at hogsync.uark.edu. You can see there's links around it, uh, around the entire university campus um, to get connected between different departments that you're involved in. Um, but it's gonna let you do things like messaging and find a calendar of events that so like things like welcome weeks and a week that you're going to experience as soon as you get on campus you're going to be able to see those opportunities on hog sync um, and the best thing about it is you're gonna this is going to make it so easy for you to attend some of our events and housing um, this year with some of the COVID-19 response that we're doing that we're having a limited number of people who can attend some of our events so hog sync is actually going to be where you go in to say I want to come I want a spot so if we're going to take um, you know, take students to an event or hold an event in a lobby, we may be limited to the number of people who can come. So in order to secure your spot with having, you know, craft night or movie night or whatever we end up doing throughout the year, um, you'll be able to go into HogSync and go to that event and say, yes, I'm coming, um, count me in. Um, and then we're also going to be able to share news there and you can fill out forms. So um, occasionally you'll be asked to fill out an application or a survey. And most of those are through HogSync, um, connected to your UARC email. Um, and then also, we want to make sure that you are connected with our community within Fayetteville, Northwest Arkansas as well. So you'll find a variety of service opportunities through HogSync. This is where you can sign up um, to connect uh, with the Volunteer Action Center and sign up for different service opportunities on campus and off campus. Um, the, my favorite thing about HogSync is that it's actually a very personalized experience. So when you go in, you're going to sign up for different things you're interested in, and it's going to connect you uh, to those things. So when you see the calendar of events, it's not just the calendar of events for everything happening on campus at the same time, but it's actually going to pull in the events for things you're experiencing. So it'll pull in the event for the RSOs that you've signed up for. It's going to pull in the events happening in your residence hall. Not every single residence hall. You don't need all that. You just need what's made for you, right? So HogSync is going to create that personalized calendar, personalized news updates and forms that are just for you um, and your experience when you're here, you're here at the U of A. Um, one of the things that we have created this summer, particularly for our first year students coming to campus, is a thing called the HogSync Challenge. We want you to get in and create your profile and start doing things in HogSync now. Um, and so what you'll do is you just go to HogSync, that's H-O-G-S-Y-N-C, hogsync.uark.edu, and complete your profile. It's literally, when you go to that site, you're gonna sign in with your UARC email and password, and you're gonna type in your first name, your last name, click a checkbox, click submit, and you're done. You're in. Um, it's very easy, and then, other things get auto-populated from your application when you apply to, to be a student at the U of A. So you don't have to worry about adding all the other stuff. But the challenge is gonna have you go in, look at your profile, update a few things. Like if you have a preferred name, you may have your legal name um, in the system and you want it to show as something else. Um, and so this is gonna allow you to go in and change that, change your notifications. 
Um, it's going to show you how to RSVP to an event um, so that when you come for a week and welcome weeks, you're already ready, you know how to do it. Um, and then there's going to be a tiny short survey at the end of the challenge. Um, submitting that survey is going to qualify you for prizes. Everybody loves some prizes, right? So um, we're going to have prize packs that are a variety of things from across campus. Um, some like some of your first free t-shirts you're going to get. Um, some coffee mugs and lots of excess swag from around campus. Um, and then we're also going to have some grand prizes. So you might be able to win something like, I don't know, an Apple Watch or some AirPods or a year of free wash and fold laundry. Um, so lots of things if you just you know don't want to wash and fold your laundry for the rest of the year. Um, this is an easy way to maybe get a chance to win that. So um, filling out that survey and RSVPing for the event are the last two things you'll do. Super important, that qualifies you for those prizes, that prize drawing. Um, and then you also, bonus, you can get extra entries for referring your friends to complete the challenge. So if they go in, they fill out the survey, and they put your name in the blank at the very end, you're going to get an extra entry um, to qualify for those prizes. So get out there, get to it. Um, you can find the links. When you get into uh, HogSync, you're going to see that as an event to create your profile, um, and you can go through those steps or be watching social media. Um, we're gonna post the links to it some this week. Um, and you'll also see other departments who are posting about the Hog Sync Challenge um, over the next couple weeks. But you have to complete it by July 31st. So if you can complete by July 31st, your profile set, ready to go, RSVP to that event, and fill out our survey, you're gonna qualify for prizes. That sounds fun. It's gonna be super fun. I'm really excited. Okay, so the next thing that we want to talk to you all about um, is Lead Hogs, which I want to say congratulations. We just had our fifth round of Lead Hogs accepted into the program today. So you might have gotten an email saying that you were accepted. Um, congratulations. Um, Lead Hogs is a leadership development program that we offer here in University Housing. Um, it's your stepping stone into all things leadership, into getting involved on campus. Um, we help you get connected to RSOs. We help you get connected in your hall communities. Um, we do some leadership trainings and sessions to help you grow in your leadership skills. So it's a really all-encompassing program to help you build your leadership skills um, and ways that you can put things on your resume, uh, be prepared for interviewing, um, and just all around have fun and um, get, in, get involved on campus. Um, and so that's what a little bit about Lead Hogs, Megan, do you want to add anything to that? Um, mostly that it's just super fun yeah. and um, you get to move in a little bit early and meet new friends first thing off so if you are coming and you're like I just want to meet people and have some fun and get into it Lead Hogs is a great place to start most of the, the things that Lead Hogs do are right in the same building where you'll live um, so you won't have to traipse across campus and do do a whole lot with it you actually can participate right where you're living so that's a pretty pretty great student organization to get involved in yeah, and so if you are interested in it and you haven't applied yet, you can go on HogSync, but you can also visit our new website, which is leadhogs.uark.edu, and our application is under uh, Next Steps, so you can go and apply. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the application deadline is July 22nd, um, and so we will actually be closing the application on that day at midnight, so make sure you get your application in before then. And then once move-in happens and everybody's back on campus, we actually will reopen the application to anyone who didn't get a chance to apply during the summer, who maybe got involved, gets to know their lead hogs in their hall, and they want to join as well. Um, so remember, July 22nd is your last date to be able to apply for the summer term. Um, let's see. Then we have um, lead hogs also is involved with RIC, which is Residence Interhall Congress. And where we are filming is actually the Student Leadership Office, which is in University Housing. Um, and so if you ever want to come by and visit us, we'll be here. Um, mine and Megan's office is close to here, but mostly um, our executive teams for RIC and for NRHH, which we'll talk about NRHH in a little bit, um, they work from this office. So they work um, their office hours from here. If you ever meet with one of them, it'll be here. So it's good to know where it is. Um, so RIC is Residence Interhall Congress, and basically it is your on-campus student government. You have ASG, which is all-campus student government, um, associated student government, but it's for everyone who attends U of A. And then RIC is our version in, in housing of a Residence Interhall Congress. So you get to vote on bills, write legislation. Um, we start with a certain amount of money 
um, at the beginning of the year, and as a RIC rep through Lead Hogs, if you decide to run for a position um, to represent your Lead Hogs in your hall, um, you get to vote on those bills, um, and you get to know how much money we start with and kind of decide what, what should that money be spent on. And so as a rep, you'll actually talk to other people in your hall and kind of get an idea from them of what they think money should be spent on, what kind of hall improvements should be made. Do you want a ping pong table in your hall? You don't have one. Um, do you want to paint one of the rooms in your hall? You know, there's lots of things. Sky's the limit, really. So if you have been involved with student government in high school or you're interested in that kind of thing, this is a great way to get involved um, and get that experience. Um, we meet every Monday night um, right after Lead Hogs. So Lead Hogs meets on Monday night. That's from 6, 6, or sorry, yes, 6 to 7, 15. And then RIC meets from 7, 30, till about 9 p.m., um, depending on how many pieces of legislation we have. So if you are an RIC rep and you decide to run, you'll get more information on that via the application. If you said that you were interested, we'll be sending you an email about that. And then also in Hall, you'll learn a little bit more about how to run for a rep. And on Monday nights, you will have lots of fun going from Lead Hogs talking about legislation there and then going to RIC and voting on legislation. So that's a little bit about RIC. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything, Megan. Um, well, I would just say a few things with RIC. Um, if you um, want to have your just have your voice heard on campus, like that's their tagline is uh, the voice of the on campus student. And so um, they speak into things like sustainability initiatives on campus. Uh, we have a seat on the parking committee um, for campus to represent the on campus student voice, the dining, um, the dining committee. Um, and so there are opportunities for you to get involved and really make a difference on campus. So um, they do decide on a lot of funding things, um, but they're also involved in, um, we have an event uh, that is around Constitution Day, which is a federal day, um, but where we talk about everybody's right to vote and getting out, getting out there and making your voice heard in your community. Um, but then to things like having a tailgate before a football game mm -hmm. or um, participating in homecoming. So there are a lot of really fun things that come along with being a part of RIC um, and just just being able to speak for your peers um, and, and represent those that live around you. Yeah, and um, we also work pretty closely with ASG, and so that's been a good relationship we've had over the last few years. So if you're interested in ASG-related things um, after your freshman year, that's a really good way to get something on your resume to say, I was involved with RIC, um, I know how to write a piece of legislation, I know how to present legislation. So that's a really good way to get involved um, in that aspect too. And lots of other RSOs we have um, worked with for events and, and stuff like that. So RIC is really just a way to utilize funds and your voice to you know do any kind of initiatives or anything that you wanna see happen on campus. So come talk to us about that. Our execs work here in this room. They have office hours, so you can come see any of them during that time. Um, they will be posted to our website. Um, Joseph said hello. He, <laughs> he's tuning in and saying hello. Hello. And if anybody has a question, he's watching. We have about 16 people watching right oh, now. Oh, cool. Awesome. If anybody has a question, feel free to ask us. Yes. We're just kind of talking to get you all the Until information. Until you ask questions. Yeah, because mm -hmm. because we might not tell you something you want to know, because we do this a lot. So, um, so. Hopping from RIC, um, I'll talk a little bit about NRHH, which is our other student leadership organization that's housed in housing here in the student leadership office as well. Um, NRHH is the National Residence Hall Honorary, so there are chapters across the nation for NRHH. Um, we focus on recognition and service, so if you're really into service projects, um, wanting to serve the community, but also the campus community, NRHH is here for you to do that. NRHH also works very closely with RIC. They have representatives um, on the RIC exec board as well. Um, and so there's always someone from NRHH at RIC meetings and there's always volunteer opportunities through RIC. So they work really closely together. We do lots of things from serving the community. Um, we've gone and served breakfast in the community for Bikes, Blues and Barbecue. Um, we do a lot of campus cleanups. The cigarette butt cleanup is our um, semester, we do it each semester, um, and we clean up the um, sidewalks that are close to campus where people go and smoke, and so we make sure those pathways are clean for people. Um, we've also done some nature cleanups. Um, we, we do lots of things, so there's lots of opportunities to get involved and volunteer. We also work with the VAC for Make a Difference Day, and we usually have some sort of service project for that. 
Um, and then for recognition, we like to recognize staff, faculty, students, um, RSOs that are doing really great things on campus. And so we have an OTM, which is of the month submission process that anyone on campus can actually submit um, and a, a recognition piece about someone or an organization or an event. Um, and so if you go to the NRHH website, nrhh.uark.edu, you can read a little bit more about NRHH and what they do and then also find the OTM process. Um, and so we like to do recognition projects as well. So we do things like um, making candy bags and giving those to our um, administrative service workers and housing. Um, we've decorated cookies for UAPD and got brought them to them. Um, we do lots of fun things. NRHH is really fun. We meet um, every two weeks on Tuesday nights. And if you are interested in NRHH, you can apply on HogSync through the um, NRHH portal, um, which you can visit our website again, nrhh.uark.edu, to find that link to the application. Oh, yeah. So these are our fun door decks that my summer intern, Allie, who's amazing, have been working on. So kind of an homage to COVID and the masks. We're making you your own lead hogs mask. So if you actually become a lead hog, you'll get one of these fun door decks. If you become an RIC rep, you'll get a flag on there for that. If you join NRHH, you'll get a flag for that. And then we also have lead more this year, which is for our upperclassmen who are coming back to campus and want to stay involved. Um, and so we, it's actually going to be a whole different door deck. It's going to be different colors. And it's going to have the lead more logo on it. Um, and so that's exciting as well. Um, we've been doing some giveaways this summer, so if you aren't following us on Instagram for Lead Hogs or our Facebook page, follow us. Um, this is one of our um, tie-dye shirts that my intern and GA made live on our feed, and we're giving these away, which are super fun. These are some of our older Lead Hogs shirts that we're repurposing and giving away. Um, if you join RIC as a rep, we are actually going to be giving you one of these fun shirts and they're going to be personalized with your haul on the back of them. So that's fun as well. Um, what else? We're doing lots of fun giveaways this summer. We have some um, of our fundraisers, our care packages and um, our dorm outfitting company that we work with. We're going to be doing some um, giveaways for those as well. So we have some uh, stock the fridge, um, exciting uh, giveaway that we're going to do soon on our page and then also um, we're giving away some comforters and some sheets and some fun stuff so if you want some free stuff definitely follow us on social media um, it's just lead hogs um, on Instagram Twitter and um, on Facebook so yeah. and then um, the last opportunity we want to talk to you about uh, the other leadership position that that we work with is the resident assistant position so um, many of you, I'm sure, have heard about RAs. Uh, it's a pretty common term um, and a part of the college experience that we have upperclassmen who go through an application and interview process to work with incoming students and everyone who lives on campus. Um, so typically there's one to two RAs who live on every floor and they're there to just serve as um, a friend and a mentor uh, on, your, on your floor and just help you navigate the transition to college. Um, and so a lot of people come in and they're like, but wait, how do I become an RA? Um, and so we just wanted to address that too really quickly because if you're involved in leadership things and you live on campus, a lot of people um, get interested in how can I, how can I do this position? Um, and so we do have an application process that opens every fall for the following academic year. Um, and you'll start seeing that marketing come up around the mid, mid to end September. Um, and so we have um, a social media handle, which is at UARCRA. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can follow that for more information, or you can also find it on the housing website, housing.uark.edu slash RA. Um, and so we'll, as we start updating the timeline, we'll get that published there, like I said, by late September. Um, we do have mandatory intro sessions that happen each application cycle. Um, you have to attend one of them. Um, and so it's going to walk you through what the position is, how to apply, what that interview process looks like, all the things you need to know for updating your resume and getting you going. Um, it's also a, a good professional development experience because um, you're going to get access to resume workshops, mock interviews, and then actually go through um, a couple levels of interviews for this. So 
Um, it's a it's a fun experience. Um, it's obviously a great leadership opportunity. It's a year long leadership opportunity um, for upperclassmen. Um, and so, if you want more information, you can check out that website. Or once you get to campus, the best thing to do is to talk to your RA um, or your CRE who lives in your building. Um, they're going to be able to answer your questions and help get you connected if you're interested in this opportunity. Um, so look for that stuff coming out in September. Um, application usually opens in October um, and closes in November. So um, be on the lookout for that if you're interested in being an RA next year. And um, fun fact, your CRE will actually be your main advisor for Lead Hogs. So if you join Lead Hogs, you'll be meeting with them every Monday. So you can ask them those questions anytime you want. Any final thoughts about uh, leadership here and student opportunities for that? I would say we're just, we're really excited to get the year kicked off and for everyone to get to campus. Um, we've had uh, a really wonderful, just overwhelming response to the Lead Hogs program this year. Um, there are a lot of you um, who have applied, so shout out if you're on this call and you've applied to be a Lead Hog so far. Um, they're a wonderful group of students and we're really excited to get started with them. Um, if it's not pretty obvious for most of our things with the masks and the things, it's going to be a different kind of year. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're super excited to adapt the program um, and still make sure that everybody has a really fun time while continuing to be safe um, in, our, in our current climate. Um, so events might look different and meetings might look different, but you're still going to get a great experience and it's still going to be um, just a really fun way to add something to your resume and see how you can leave a footprint at the University of Arkansas um, by being a student here and living on campus. So it's, it's a fun opportunity to be a part of uh, the future for the rest of the students that will follow you. Yeah, for sure. We want to make sure that you feel like you know, you're at home when you're here, um, even though it might feel a little different this year. Um, and so we're here for you. Um, I'm here for you. Like I said, I'm the coordinator for student leadership. So if you all have any questions about Lead Hogs, about NRHH, RIC, RA stuff, like anything, um, you can email me at barney at uark.edu, like the purple dinosaur, for those of you who are old enough to know what Barney is. Um, but you can email me and ask me anything. Um, but our execs, who are student leaders, will be here in August, and they're also a great resource. Like I said, you can come by over here anytime and talk to us. Um, and just hang out and get to know us. And we really like to have fun and want you to feel at home here. Okay, well, thank you so much. We'll be doing a series of different UR Home Live videos, so continue to tune in, please. All right, bye-bye.